Um, both are very important. Um, you know, I mean, I think for us, like we do strive to make sure that our producers do make money, you know, and uh, because it's important for our industry. But at the same time also, I mean, I want to be able to also look back at movie, movies and say like, wow, I mean, this is a fantastic story or this was a fantastic role and I'm so happy I did this film. It was like a great memory. Um, and sometimes it, it, wasn't, it isn't always about the commercial uh, aspect of it, but yeah, it is very important because um, it is a business. Um, I think everyone does. Everyone does. Yeah, I think everyone does. Do you think it's essential to you know run after success? You know, I think in the beginning you want it, and you're like, I'm going to become number one, and you really kind of like want that, and then after some time you realize like. What are you actually chasing? Like, what is number one? I mean, one number one to you might not be number one to like a lot of people. And I think like right now, like there was a time where I was thinking, wow, what was it? What will it be like to be number one? Now I kind of am thinking, what would it be like to be iconic? In your own sense, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be number one, but it means you're iconic to a lot of people. Uh, but what is more important, being number one for a certain period of time or continuing the thing for a longer period? Um, continuing the field. You came from Sri Lanka to India to Mumbai, you know, one of the most recognized places in the industry right now. It's like a dream come true for you. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it, it is because it was um, a very, very, uh, you know, interesting journey. And uh, that's why it, that that's why it's a dream come true because it was something that I, you know, kind of put my heart and soul into. And it paid off, you know, so I'll never take credit for something that I felt was never, you know, that I never worked hard for. And uh, this I know I, I worked hard for, so like that's why I'm, I do feel like it's, it's, you know, a dream come true. You know, being good looking, good looking, hard working and all talent is important for success. But you need a mentor or someone who can guide you. Who is your mentor? I mean, who are the first mentor who really inspired you, who really motivated you to achieve your dreams? Um, there were, I mean, honestly, I would probably have to say that uh, I got a lot of confidence and courage um, from, I'd have to name a few people, but people like Salman, people like Sajid Nadia Arwala, um, you know, probably even Sajoy for that matter, they were very instrumental in kind of keeping me going, you know, and making me believe that I do and I can, you know, do what I want to, you know, I can achieve what I want to achieve. Uh, okay. You know, in, in glamour industry, as uh, actors name is associated with an actor, what well, incomes and all these things, do you uh, take it seriously or do you just have uh, <laughs> nothing? Nothing. I don't even read anymore. <laughs> Besides this, there are some uh, good projects with you. Uh, want to talk about the projects and what kind of you're paying that for you? Dishum is there. Yes, um, Dishum is there coming up after Houseful. Then we have Flying Jet coming out as well with Tiger and Remo. Um, so I'm very excited for the next, you know, three, four months of mine because they're all going to be back to back uh, films with like, you know, actors and directors that I've always wanted to work with. And so it'll be really like an interesting, I think, kind of like year for me to see what pans out after. I think you're a passionate Besides, any separate want you to reveal on a camera that you are passionate about? <laughs> Um, a secret that I'm passionate about uh, would be whew, mm, restaurants and yeah, I think mm, probably hospitality. And talking about hospitality, what kind of role you are playing in the film and uh, what really made you to film part of the film? Well, I mean, like more than um, more than anything, I was very excited to be part of Houseful Three because I was part of Houseful since Part One, and so it's very it's like a very very special like franchise for me. So when Nadia told me to be part of Houseful Three, I was like, you know, it's it is a very very special movie, and uh, I feel like it's it's a family franchise now. And in my in in Houseful Three, I actually play a psychiatrist, and. Um, you know, my boyfriend is actually in the movie, and he suffers from split personality disorder. So it 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 basically is how like we try to get married 
um, and my father doesn't want us to get married. So what all we do to make sure that we get married. <laughs> and last one for the first and two, the second we were directed by Shahid Khan and this is directed by Parashik. Will there be a difference in um, Mm, I don't think so. I mean, like, you know, as long as you deliver, like, a good product. And I think we've been able to do that with every single house full. Um, you know, it's, it's, that's what the people want to see. And we've enjoyed all the three parts, you know, very well. All the actors have had fun on this kind of a film. And it's the most amazing film for an actor to be on because it really is just about having fun and making people laugh and making a fool out of yourself and, you know, getting away with it. So, yeah, I mean, like, I've been really blessed to be part of all three of them.